Howdy guys, welcome back to BIG Photography. This has been, and sorry it's been a while since I made a proper uh, video teaching a technique, but it's a whole new year, whole new version of Affinity Photo, so let's just get back into it. And so in this video today, I wanna to show you how you can take an image like this, and with a few easy adjustment layers, you can create a kind of fake color gel lighting effect, all in Affinity Photo. So if you wanna see how I do it, stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Now, this image has already been retouched. If I turn off my retouched layers, uh, you can see I actually didn't do too much. I basically just cleaned up the background a little bit, removed some of those wrinkles and creases in the backdrop, plus just used my uh, in-painting and clone stamp tool to kind of remove some of these little hairs, that little scar on her arm, and some of those few really small, probably unnoticeable blemishes on her face. And then we use dodge and burn to just kind of, you know, even out the uh, tonal differences in the skin, especially on her face. You can see that top part of her forehead was a bit too dark. So I kind of lessened that. And even down here on the leg, uh, I just kind of fixed this kind of shadow that I didn't like. So I just kind of got rid of that. And then the last part was back to that forehead. It was a bit too saturated here, so I just used an HSL adjustment layer to desaturate that part of the forehead. And the last thing I did was just do some contouring, and that way I can just kind of create some more depth in the face just by adding some highlights and shadows in certain areas. I can give the image a bit more of a kind of a pop, a bit more of a three-dimensional pop. Uh, you can see, especially here on the legs, just by adding highlights in the center and darkening the, uh, the edges, kind of just makes the legs look a bit more three-dimensional, especially in the face as well. So with that being said, uh, we are ready to do our kind of cool little color grading effect. Uh, the first thing I wanna do actually is I do wanna just add a little bit of contrast to this image by adding a curves layer. Let me just bring the blacks down a little bit and then uh, maybe just do a slight S curve so it's a bit darker and moodier, something like that, that's fine. All right, now the effect that we're gonna be doing, there are multiple ways to do something like this in Affinity Photo, but what I'm gonna show you is just how to easily and quickly use the recolor adjustment. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a recolor adjustment. That's gonna give me a recolor adjustment layer, and you'll be presented with this little color panel here where you can basically use the hue slider to kind of go across and choose a color that you like. Now you'll notice that some of the brighter colors like this teal and like yellow kind of overexpose the image where darker colors like blue and purple kind of uh, almost underexpose the image a little bit. We can adjust that later, but the first thing I wanna do is just pick a color that I kind of like. And I'm gonna do this kind of uh, blue, green, teal look. Now that's obviously way too bright, so we can fix that by using the lightness slider. And we can start sliding this down to getting it to where it kind of looks good and kind of maintains the uh, exposure of the underlying image. It is a bit darker, but that's fine because we can always mess with that later. But let's try something like that. And also the one of the good things about having a curves layer below that is we can obviously still make adjustments to the underlying image. Maybe it's too dark, and so we actually wanna do something like that to make it look how we want, but that's fine for now. Let's go back to our recolor adjustment layer, click on that little icon, and we can also adjust the saturation. This is fully saturated. I think it's a bit too much, so I wanna kinda of bring the saturation down a bit. As I bring it down, you notice it does get darker, so you could also play with the lightness slider again, and you could even play with the underlying curve adjustment that we added and just kind of get a look that you like. But for now, I think that looks good. Okay, now because Affinity Photo's adjustment layers already have masks built in, if we want to um, basically hide a part of the mask, we can just paint over with it with a black paintbrush. So I have a 100% flow, 50% hardness brush and I have black selected. So now if we just start painting, we can bring back the original color underneath. And because I have this really cool uh, light streak going across her face and body, I thought it would be cool just basically uh, color it as if that part was not being hit by the color. So just using a black paintbrush, 
I'm just going to basically do my best to kind of stay close to the edge here and just paint out that effect. Basically, this part of the image, the recolor effect is not being applied. And the great thing about using a mask is that I can easily go back and correct areas that I made a mistake on. So down here in the background, I painted too much. We can just switch to a white brush, which will bring the effect back in. And now we can just do that. And let me lower, make it smaller, and something like that. And you can go back and forth and get as precise as you want with this, but for now, that's gonna be okay. So let me just go ahead and do this hand really quick and just show you something. Let's just go about right here. Okay. And maybe something like this. All right. Now on the hand, you can see at this top part, if we turn this off, you can see the light kind of bends around the thumb, but then it kind of stops. And so I need to kind of recreate that effect. I'm going to do that just by doing a lower flow brush and then just kind of trying to basically make a little gradation, like a gradual, a gradual fall off of that light. Just something maybe like that. If we look at the mask, you can see I just kind of did a little bit of like gradation here. So it looks kind of natural as the light naturally falling off. And I think that looks pretty good. So all we need to do is the rest of the face. So I'm going to do that really quick and I will speed it up. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm going to stop right here just so I can take a look at the original image and kind of it's hard to see where that light strip ends, but I'm just going to kind of use my imagination. I'm going to go back to a low flow brush and even though it doesn't actually wrap around her temple or the side of the head, I'm just going to make it go around that far because I think it looks cool. So maybe just something like that kind of just kind of easily fading it out. Uh, maybe like that. So this is also a really good uh, time to point out that if you want to do something like this, you're going to have to do it manually. There's no quick, easy filter that's going to do it for you. You're just going to have to get in there with the paintbrush and just start painting things manually, staying within the lines. And even here you can see uh, I switched to a low flow brush so that I could kind of paint a bit of a gradation into that part of the shadow because it seemed to be a bit softer there. But I just want to say that, you know, if you want to do it correctly, spend the time, do it right, do it by hand. You can have a lot more control and it's always going to look a lot better in the end. Okay, so there we go. We already have this kind of really cool effect already. And you can basically just stop here and say, hey, that looks cool. But what if we wanted to change that color uh, to a different color? Well, there's kind of two ways you could do it. Because right now in this image, only this strip is now red. We could just add an HSL adjustment layer and select red and then we could just change the hue on that part, right? Now, if we turn off that recolor, then now we're affecting everything because everything's red as far as your skin goes. But by having that recolor adjustment apply, we can now change the tone and maybe do something kind of interesting like that. But what I'm gonna do is show you how to do a very quick, easy way and make another recolor adjustment layer with our mask that we already painted. But I do want to actually saturate this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and bump the saturation up on her skin tone just a tad. I think that looks pretty cool. And I think already this looks really cool. But what if I wanted to make it purple or red or something? Well, we already have a mask made in our re uh, recolor adjustment layer. So why don't we just reuse that? So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. So Command J on a Mac. It's going to make everything darker. And even that looks really cool too. And then I'm just going to invert this layer. And by inverting it, I'm flipping the mask uh, from black to white, white to black. So by inverting it, now if we look at the mask here, what's in here is being revealed. And I can actually see I missed a spot. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a white paintbrush and just paint in this part that I missed, like so. Looks anything else? No, it looks fine, okay. So now, because 
this recolor adjustment layer is only affecting this and because it's a duplicate of our last one it's the same color but now we can actually start changing the color of it so now we can do something like that this is a bit too uh, bright so we can always play around and adjust with the lightness adjust the saturation to kind of create something that looks interesting we can also play around with different um, what do you call them layer style not layer styles blend options so for example blending mode so maybe we can switch over to the color blending mode and that might be a little bit more forgiving especially with this really harsh pink color we can kind of bring the lightness back to zero maybe bump up the saturation and do something kind of cool like that maybe i think that looks pretty interesting we could try that maybe saturate it some more yeah kind of a hard pink and we could even darken it a bit something like that all right well that's a pretty cool looking color effect and all we did was just flip our mask that we had already made now maybe if you look really carefully i think i did a pretty good job but if you did kind of go over you might see something like that so you can kind of easily tell where you didn't stay in the lines but i think actually i did a pretty good job of staying close to the original thing and at this point you can pretty much say hey you know what i like this i'm done but we can even still do cool color grading on top of this so let's go ahead and bring up a curves adjustment layer and we could again still play with some curves make certain things darker make certain things lighter or you can have some real fun and grab the individual colors like the blue channel and maybe add some kind of blue in the shadows but maybe add some yellow in the highlights to kind of even it out and it kind of gives a kind of cool little gold effect there we could even play with the opacity of our underlying green layer maybe bring it down a little bit so we can bring back a little bit of that skin tone kind of almost giving a golden blue kind of look and maybe even same thing with the pink you know and we could play around with our new little curves here maybe play around with the reds take red out add red in lots and lots of possibilities just to make something look unique and interesting and this is where you play like you know you'll see lots of videos on how to do color grading or color toning but most of it is just playing around and trying out different blend modes you could even take this curves and try out different blend modes try overlay try soft light hard light you know um, exclusion like subtract different stuff because sometimes you might accidentally be like hey that soft light looks really cool let me go ahead and lower the opacity on that that kind of added a cool contrast or something like that right there's a lot of different things you can do so at this point as far as the color grading i don't really want to necessarily tell you like how to color grade it because this is something you're gonna to have to figure out on your own so this is it this is just one way that you can do a really cool recolor effect in affinity photo there are multiple ways to do it but this is just one that i like and i think it's pretty easy so i hope you guys enjoyed it and as always thank you guys very much for watching my videos and leaving all your great comments and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching Bye.